Hello, hello. Welcome to Learning to Laser. My name is Marcina, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up this simple on the menu uh, meal planning board, as well as this things to do list. This is going to be a three part video series. In this first part, I'm going to show you guys how to set up these boards. In part two, I'm going to show you guys how to make a mitered frame for yourself, as well as how to scale it to different sizes. And then in part three, we'll go ahead and put all the pieces together and we will make our menu boards and our things to do list. In this first part, we are going to focus a lot on the alignment and the distribution tools located up here. And I'm going to show you guys a lot of the shortcuts that are involved with those. That way, you guys can make short work of all of your designing. There's absolutely no reason for you to do fussy moves and things like that when you can literally just hit a shortcut key and get everything exactly where you want it. So if you're ready to learn to laser, just keep watching. Okay, without further ado, let's jump right on into it. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is grab our shape tool over here and draw a rectangle. It doesn't matter what size you draw your rectangle to at this point, cause we are going to go over here and resize it. One very important thing to note is when you are manually resizing, if you want to change the uh, aspect ratio of the item that you are resizing, make sure that it is unlocked. If you were to lock the aspect ratio and say that I was to put 12 right here, it is automatically going to resize proportionately by the 12. Unlocked though, I can now change this bottom number to be whatever I would like. In this case, I want my top to be 12 and I want my bottom to be, oh, I just said that totally backwards. I want my width to be nine and I want my height to be 12. Forgive me, you guys. Next things. I'm gonna go over here to the text tool and I am just going to type in things to do. I have decided to use host Vela font for this particular item, but obviously I'm teaching you guys how to design and do this so that you can make it yours and make it exactly the way that you would like to make it. So I've just got things to do here. Now I did go down here and I changed the color for this to black. For me personally, the way that I have my settings set up, red is going to cut for me and black is going to fill or engrave for me. So I wanna go ahead and change it to black now so that I don't have to worry about doing that later on in the process. The next thing I'm gonna do is head on back over to the shape tool and I'm gonna draw a really skinny rectangle, like as skinny as I can possibly get it to be. That looks good. And actually, I'm going to go in here, I'm gonna hit my direct select tool, my little pointer, and I'm gonna make it slightly thinner. It may not seem like this line is very thick, but when it does go on the engraver, I want it to engrave as little as possible, just enough for the line to show up, and that's pretty much about it. I don't want it to actually dip too far into the surface, so by making a really thin line, that's how I can get almost the score line, so to speak, without actually having a score line. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna select that rectangle that we just made, and on our keyboard, we are gonna press Control and D, the letter D, at the same time. And what that's going to do is duplicate our line. You could also right-click and you'll find duplicate right here, and it will do the same thing for you. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna duplicate this a few times. And all I'm doing on my thing is I'm hitting control D and then I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard to move it. Now with your arrow keys, you can move it up, down, right, or left. And that looks about good to me. Now, as you can see, our lines are all wonky. They're not spaced properly together. We've got some over here, some over there. And well, that's not going to look good when we send it to the laser. So we need to fix that. In order to fix that, I am going to left click on my mouse so that I get my selection box. And then I am going to select all of my lines. Okay. And then I'm going to hit C on my keyboard. And C on your keyboard just stands for to center alignment. You could also go over here and you could align center this way. The next thing you're going to want to do is distribute the lines evenly. And in order to do that, we need to go over here to the distribute button and I'm going to do distribute be centered. Um, and, and it's only because I want my lines to stay centered. You could also do distribute be spaced. Honestly, they're really pretty much the same exact thing from what I can tell. 
if you know a big difference on them or something like that, definitely, you know, drop a comment below and let me know because I am still learning to laser just like you guys. All right. So that is literally that you now have a things to do board that you can send on over to your laser. I would probably recommend cutting this out on uh, either a chalkboard base or on a dry erase base simply because then you can, you know, use your list over and over again and it extends the life value. If you wanted to take it a step further, we'll zoom in here. I'm going to control D and I'm going to copy this entire thing. And then let's say, because you know, you've got your things to do list. Let's say that you were like getting 2021 off to an amazing start and you are doing meal planning. Shout out to everybody who does meal planning. I swear I started doing it a few years ago and it has absolutely changed my life because really, who wants to figure out what's for dinner every single night? <laughs> so for a menu board, we don't need this many lines. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab seven of them. So one, two, seven. And then I'm just going to delete all of these lines down here. Get rid of them. Now I'm going to move this line down to the bottom because this is where I ultimately want that line to live. I'm going to select all of these lines. We're going to go back over here to the distribute and we're going to distribute those again. All right. So now we've got nice even lines on my keyboard. I'm going to tab it over to the right just a little bit to give myself a little bit of space to add my dates. So I'm going to start my menu on Sunday, but obviously you could start your menu any day of the week. Now, while I love the host Bella script for me personally, I kind of want to go with something a little bit simpler for the letters. So I'm just going to change this over to courier new and I'm going to resize and you can resize or rotate. If you um, grab these little arrows right here, that will rotate it. Or if you grab one of the boxes, then you can make it big or smaller. So that's how you resize there. And then I'm just going to shift D, drop it down. Monday and I will go through and do all of that and I will be right back. Okay, then now we have all of our lines set up and together and it looks like this is probably a little bit too big for my menu board. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the corner there and I'm going to reduce it down just a smidge. And to save myself from having to do a bunch of fussy messing around, I'm going to hit control G on my keyboard and I'm going to group all of this together. I'm going to hit shift and hold shift on my keyboard while I left click on my mouse. And then I'm going to press C and that is of course going to center it for me. And that to me looks really good. However, my Thursday is doing something a little wonky right here. So let's go ahead and get that fixed. So let's go back over. And we are going to grab the little lonely man over here. You could also right click to ungroup. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of my days of the week, making sure that Thursday is selected. And on my keyboard, I am going to hit the letter R. Oops, that's the wrong letter. I'm going to hit the letter R right there. And as you can see, now everything is beautiful and it's aligned perfectly to the right. If you wanted to do a left alignment, then you would just hit the letter L on your keyboard instead. But in this case, a right alignment is definitely going to be best for us. Now, it does look like some of them are on the line, some of them are above the line. So let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And the way that we want to do that is by selecting the letter and then selecting the line. Whatever you select next, or if you're doing multiple selects, so say you're selecting five or six items, the item that you select last is what you're going to be aligning it to. So if you don't want this line to move, make sure that you select your letters or your the other item first, the one that you want to move to the align spot. Uh, instead of doing it the other way around. And I'll show you that real quick here while we're doing it. So I've got my S selected, or actually, let me show you the other way. So if I wanted to move my line and not my S, then I would select the line first, then select the S. And then on your keyboard, you're going to hit the letter B. And as you can see, the line moved up in that example. Now, if you want the S to move and not the line, you'll select the letter S, then you'll select the letter line by pressing and holding shift on your keyboard, then left clicking so you can select them both at the same time, and you'll select the letter B. And as you can see, now they are aligned to the bottom. 
I actually want to move that over just a smidge. Do I? Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Right there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go through all of these and I'm going to align them all to the bottom by hitting, and I'll show you one more time, select your letter, shift, click on your keyboard, then select the letter B for bottom, okay? And I'm going to go through really quickly and just do that. And I will be right back. Okay, we've got everything aligned to the bottom. And I didn't show you this before, but let me just show you. If you go up here, you can align to bottom here as well. So you can either use the letter B on your keyboard or you can align to bottom here. Now, as you can see, a lot of these are sitting on the line and I don't really like that. So what we're gonna do is the same thing that we did before. And since I want this one to be my model, I'm going to select all of these then I will select this one and I'm going to do R on my keyboard one more time. And as you can see, now all the lines have fell in place exactly where I want them to go. And ladies and gentlemen, it really is that simple. I'm going to hit C. I'm going to tab these lines over just a little bit. C is going to center it for me. And to me, it's just more visually appealing. Again, when you make yours, you can make it any way that you would want. The beautiful thing about owning a laser and learning how to laser is that, you know, honestly, it is all about your personal preference and your taste. So make it exactly the way that you would want to make it. Alrighty, and that's it. Now you guys know how to set up an on the menu board or just a regular meal planning board. You also know how to set up a things to do list. You can duplicate, you can left align, right align, distribute, and bottom align. Let me tell you, you guys are so far ahead of the curve. It is ridiculous. I did not know how to do any of those things for an embarrassing amount of time. But once I learned them, I was able to get designing and to design quickly and efficiently. I really, really, really hope that you were able to learn something in this video. And if you have any questions at all, please drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer as soon as possible. Next time I see you guys, we'll learn how to make these mitered frames inside of Lightburn. Once you learn how to make a mitered frame, the sky almost is the limit when it comes to doing home decor and signs. If you want to know when I upload that video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks again.